We'll start off with some breaking news. A 23-member fact-finding team investigating the Tutikoran shooting incident has submitted a report. Now, the team, which is called the People's Inquest, is composed of retired judges, lawyers, journalists and social activists and has called the incident a total breakdown of civilian authority. The 260-page report has said that the incident had unjustified and unwanted murders and have said that the entire administration carried out its duties in a cowardly manner and ceded all power to the police. See, this whole uh, process, what has happened in Tutuburin, is a minuscule of what is going to happen in other parts of the country also. Namely, that legitimate protests, instead of addressing the issues that people raise, are often smudged with the taint of uh, being not legitimate, with the strong arm of criminal law being used against people who are genuinely trying to make out their claims. Yeah? Because you now have situations in Tutuburin where countless affairs have been filed against so many people uh, and uh, you know and that and then uh, so then everybody becomes you know every person is now forced to defend themselves against the state rather than actually address the crucial issues that were raised in the uh, with reference to the pollution caused by sterilite. The brutal repression unleashed by the Tamil Nadu police on the protesters against the Vedanta copper smelting plant in Tutikudi is something which is unprecedented. But if you see what is happening in Tamil Nadu today, it's in line with the kind of repression that is taking place against activists, against lawyers, against journalists, anybody who is protesting against the totally anti-people projects and anti-people policies that have been unleashed on the people of Tamil Nadu by the Tamil Nadu government in league with the Modi government at the centre. So, <clears throat> I am very glad that this uh, report on the Tutikudi massacre has been published by this group of activists and I am sure that all this, all these protests and this report will go a long way in stopping this repression that is going on. ஒட்டுமொத்தமாக கொல்லப்பட்டார்கள் அன்று மட்டும் பதிமூன்று பேர் கொல்லப்பட்டார்கள் இது படுகொலை தான் அவர்கள் கேட்டது வந்து ஒரு நியாயமான கோரிக்கை அரசு வந்து பின்னால் மூடியதை முன்னாடே செய்திருந்தால் இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியை நடந்திருக்க வேண்டிய அவசியம் இல்லை அவர்கள் ஸ்டெர்லைட் ஆலை மண்ணையும் காற்றையும் நீரையும் மாசுபடுத்துகிறது எங்களுக்கு கடுமையான நோயை உண்டாக்குகிறது மூட வேண்டும் என்றதை கேட்ட அவர்களுடைய நியாயமான கோரிக்கை வந்து படுகொலையில் முடிந்தது அந்த படுகொலையை பற்றிய விசாரணை இப்ப விசாரணை செய்த அந்த அறிக்கை இன்று நாங்கள் வெளியிடுகிறோம் Well, it's a scathing report that has been submitted by uh, human rights activists and various experts uh, who had visited Tutukurin and carried out uh, detailed investigations into what exactly went wrong on May 22nd. The report uh, is very extremely scathing and indicts uh, the Tamil Nadu police and the Tamil Nadu government for uh, mishandling this entire uh, Tutukurin anti-satellite agitation. Uh, this report, uh, you know, in its concern, and says that the administration had full knowledge about uh, the preparations that were going on uh, with regard to this massive protest against the satellite company. And uh, there was uh, some kind of deliberate neglect uh, from the Tamil Nadu government and the local administration, the district administration did uh, nothing as far as... Uh, you know, trying to pacify the people or hold talks with the people. And also at the same point of time, the report goes on to say that the entire district administration uh, was not present on May 22nd. In fact, uh, 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 you know, uh, the district administration was absent uh, uh, during uh, May 22nd and it was uh, the police who took uh, control of the entire situation and that is when uh, they ordered firing. Uh, so far, it's unclear that who exactly ordered fire. There have been claims that have been made by Deputy Tassel Das, but uh, documents that were accessed by uh, Times Net clearly prove that 
the deputy tahsildar were not even present on the location where the firing took place in which 13 people died uh, also the report goes on to say that uh, the police did not follow standard operating procedures while dispersing the crowd uh, the police used excess force in separate places at many times uh, the marches were often uh, you know uh, uh, without any provocation the police uh, a uh, fired against the protesters the police lathi charge against the protesters so it was all a premeditated police planning uh, with a way to try and uh, uh, you know go after the protesters and even after so many days still people of tutukurin are living in fear because there is a harassment uh, of the Uh, there are midnight arrests that are taking place midnight searches that are taking place so this report uh, clearly indicts the tamil nadu government and the police department uh, the manner in which uh, you know the police department has handled uh, the entire protest so clearly uh, all activists have uh, you know come up with uh, more than 500 pages of this report in which uh, they clearly blame the tamil nadu government for mishandling the tutu kurin anti sterilite agitation right Shabir Ahmed thank you so much for bringing us those updates